Hey there, brothers and sisters. Pray all's going well with you. Um, went and did a little bit of planting. I, it, it took me this long to get some seeds started, but I got them in there, so it'll be what it'll be. This still be a harvest, though. I suspect most of you guys already got yours a few inches high, at least. Those of you who are going to grow them. I don't know. I'm just putting them in pots. It'll be what it'll be. Um, I think this afternoon I got to do a few things. When I come back, walk around, we'll look at some of the the mullins up. So I'll show you guys mulling. And, uh, oh, I guess we could we could mess around with the, uh, with the blowgun. And uh, I'm going to put a fishing reel on it. Not sure if I'm going to build two of them, because you don't want to carry two. But, uh, and then I ordered some traps, I'll show you guys. And, and, you know, here's another thing. I don't know. You know, I think the best is is just go to the Lord. Just go to the Lord, and if He leads you. I'm having a hard time hearing Him, but I'm still trying. And uh, I, I think that's the thing to do i've been listening to a gazillion testimonies it just blows me away it just blows me away um but i just keep trying you know i just keep trying i mean it is his will right it's his will so i just keep trying um but man they're powerful you know, this world, there's so much delusion. It's so delusional. I think I think there's still a spiritual veil over most of our, all of our eyes. I don't think any of us are fully, but I don't like the word awake, but I'm going to use it, awake. I think we all still have spiritual blinders on to one aspect or another, or, you know. I think a lot of people are going to be in for a terribly rude awakening, those who aren't even thinking outside the box you know they really are um i don't know you know it's it's sick but sometimes it, it not long but i'd be lying if i didn't say you know quick fleeting seconds here and there you know you got it coming but they don't they don't got it coming and and uh i don't know it'd be nice to be able to be all happy-go-lucky and not know what they're doing to children and not know what is right around the corner and all this this whole world's freaking evil but you know hey i i gotta consider myself blessed because i'm not a highly intelligent man and if i'm finding what i'm finding it's only through his grace that he's giving me the hunger to seek it right so anyways i want to show you guys this now, Lucis Trust, I, I think, uh, United Nations, it's all, it's all theosophist, you know, um, and, and they're Satanists, they, I mean, Lucifer is, but, uh, see, I suspect everything that, that's going on right now is, it's gonna be Satan exposing Satan, um, Hugo talks, he, he kind of leans towards that, uh, E511 channel, um, you know, not that, that this, that, that all this evil isn't happening, but, um, I think that's where the seals come in. We're going to see, we're going to see all that. And then, uh, then Lucifer will come in. And I, I do suspect AI is the beast that the dragon gives authority to. Um, I mean, how else would John explain it other than the beast, <laughs> you know? And he says, oh, sorry guys, hopefully this doesn't mess up. I'm going to grab some coffee. Um, so he says, you know, who can make war with it? Am I still recording? Because I could do this. I'll talk, talk. Yeah, I am. Okay. So, um, I, I think it just, it just, I don't know. I, who, who knows? Who knows? But, um. So anyways, yeah, and, and then uh, Lucifer will come in as the good guy, the hero, who stopped all this dark madness, and, you know, I, that, again, it, it, it's so bizarre. This world is 
This, this is, it's just so much more than uh and and I think uh you know I I in fact I know in my heart Jesus Christ is our only hope. I know that. And I totally believe. Um so you know I just keep going until he decides to uh whatever's blocking me, maybe you know. I mean he has been showing me a lot. He's been showing me a lot. I'm uh hopefully this doesn't uh, offend anybody, but there's no other words for it. I'm a shithead. He's been showing me that. And uh I guess maybe it's up to me what to do with it, but all right, enough about me. Let's talk about Lucy's Trust. So these cats they got their own YouTube. There's a bunch of Theosophist YouTubes. You know, the Theosophists are everywhere. I mean, all I bet you majority of... Well, see, I'm 53. And so you, most of your 60s crowd were teachers, young teachers when I was in school, started school. So, you know, and I think that, that was the... That's when it really, the new age, just boom. And uh, so they were mostly educators i think most of your city councils most you know because they're just like any uh just like the masons the odd fellows <laughs> the mormons they take care of their own you know they they uh they prop up their own um well they're all a buzz about this this uh i can't even pronounce it Wisk and uh yeah, the the new moon. Of course, you know, so their thread comes up a lot on mine because I do periodically check in. I, I like to look at what the enemy's up to. Um and I think I think our Lord's alright with that, you know. They did uh Old Testament, he sent uh spies into other camps, didn't he? He wants us to know what, what they're up to, you know, and then all the Bloomberg and uh, Billings and uh, what else? Uh, I'm having a hard time thinking, but nonetheless, those two. Um, yeah, just been watching a lot of testimonies, guys, and and I found uh, Ellen Ellen Elizabeth Elliot Elizabeth Elliot, guys. I'll drop a link in there, man. I just adore that lady. She is something else, man. Yeah. I couldn't make a pimple on her behind, boy. Oh, I hope that's not offensive. Um, yeah, just so powerful. I'll, I'll leave a link, and if you guys haven't heard of her, and if you're if you're believers, and if you're not, it's still a cool story. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, her and uh, spiritual logic's been spitting some fire and. Uh, Mike Council of Time, you know, the guy is off the hook in a lot of ways. It's just like, yeah. And then he starts talking about politics and space, and I'm just like lost. I'm like, what? All right, man, you're confusing me here, Mike. And and then, oh, man, I don't want to badmouth anybody. And the only two, well, you know, while he works, yeah, I have to always put him on blast. I don't care. He's probably just casting spells on everybody anyways. A little warlock. Um, but Paul Bigley. I don't care for Paul. I don't trust him at all. I've seen him some shady stuff in some of them exposed videos. Yeah, I'm sure anybody can do exposed videos on anybody. Yeah. I, I shouldn't even say that. I mean, that's kind of a waste of time. I shouldn't even say that. So... Except for works, man. I don't know. Man, that guy's a deceiving little. All right, so we did that. Now, um, oh, yes, yes. So we're back to. Um, so, you know, they're busy at work, these people are. Um, their meditations, or so something happens in the spiritual realm when they do all this stuff. So there's definitely power and prayer and all that and putting putting focus and uh, 
you know, not, I don't think for us, there's power of prayer for us, but not, not the power of intent or anything like that, you know, but uh, there, there's definitely something to this. You know, they're all called to use, you know, if they're, if they're wealthy, just, just, just as, you know, we, we as, as believers are too, if you, you know, whatever your gifts are. So, but it is inverted and they are very, very deceptive, you know, very, very deceptive. So let's see. So this is what they're doing. And then, oops, not that one. All right. So no cost is too great to pay to be of use to the hierarchy. Now, the hierarchy are the fallen angels, okay? And they, they call them the uh, hierarchy, the ascended masters, the great white. They've got a whole bunch of names for them, but that, that's who the hierarchy is, is the fallen angels. Um, <coughs> excuse me. You know, maybe, maybe demons, but I, I'm guessing fallen angels with them, and then demons with all the, uh, the lower levels, you know. Um, so the week's festival or whatever it is, no price is too high in order to gain spiritual illumination, which can be possible, particularly at this time. So, you know, it's, it's all a buzz for them. Um, yeah, but again, periodically, let's, let's go over this real quick to you guys. And one second. I, uh caught this on a thread of don't speak don't speak channel the other day and he, he puts out some pretty good stuff he does uh i i don't know you know i think he's a pretty good channel but i don't watch him much but yeah you know and i've noticed dna in fact i did a video on uh we'll, we'll go over some of the uh the rodent research and all the dna and i mean dna has been in everything uh uh, K.J. Osborne, he's, uh, he's done some of those where the sea, it's everywhere, and it's been around forever, you know, and all the stuff, we just, most of us haven't noticed it, but, you know, now they're pretty much out in the open. Um, you can look at all your Time and Life magazines, they're all, all singularity, all, oh, I got that from, uh, <laughs> oh, boy, Green-Eyed Oaky. Green Eyed Oki had that in her thread. So let's oh, I was thinking about getting deliverance. I might call one of these people. Yeah, I'm gonna pause it and go to the Okay, so here's uh some old coins, two thousand three. Uh, wasn't that monkey funny? <laughs> so yeah, you know, there's DNA on a coin, you know. I mean it, you know, and then we had Trump's coin, you know, it's just it, it's so obvious, man. It's so freaking well. We already know this, so guys, we know this. It's just trying to get our fellows who are absolutely blinded. It blows me away, especially. It's like they're exposing themselves, and they're they're still blinded. Our fellows are still blinded. Ah, oh, boy. All right. So then there's that. Okay. So let's see, guys. You know, genetics. Uh, we did that. Oh boy, would I? I could have sworn I had some of them monkeys. All right, let's see. All right, guys. I'm sorry. It was mice and its rodent research, which uh, NASA and SpaceX was doing. I, could have sworn I'd put it, but I don't have time to go to Google and do them again. There is a video. It's it's not like it's any great work, but it just shows all the rodent research patches that they have. But this was a collodial silver, the burn. I, I, a few videos back, I was telling you guys, it was terrible. This is like two weeks after. Um, it healed it great. Um so what I was doing, I was doing a burn pile, right? I'm in the foothills, and and I do it all the time, and I just got careless. At the end of the day, I got sloppy. I threw a bunch of gas on there, which is what you do, and then, uh, but I was in a valley, and man, both of my arms were like, they were just blistered. I should have went to the hospital, but I didn't. But the first night, it hurt so bad. And then the next, it was fine. 
it's a colloidal silver and olivera and see that that was like a that's at least a week i think it was even longer um see that my veins were black like that for about a month or two they were black so yeah colloidal silver and olivera um I got a kit on uh, Amazon or eBay, and it was pretty cheap. It was like 70, 79 bucks or something. Um, make it yourself. Uh, you, you you can drink it. I do. Not all the time. I try not to drink it all the time. But uh, And you could use it as mouthwash, goggle. Um, external, it's great. Um, yeah, collodial silver. So... So yeah, what I'll do is take care of what I gotta take care of and then maybe we'll go and play around in the yard and yeah, you know, it's just uh so I got the traps and stuff and then I figured out some get some bait and then I'm learning how to do it. Um you know, as I said before, I don't wanna trap things and you know, I, I it's just but you have to learn. I think with the money traps I won't use. Um, I, well, they're illegal, so I, I won't use them, but, uh, you know, but I, I'll make sure I know how to do it, and, you know, l learn trails and how bunnies work. I'm used to, to deer hunting, and, you know, a lot of people, I mean, what is a 70-year-old lady going to do? She doesn't know how to do that stuff. I mean, I, I just, if the one's around, you know, let's, I, Take you, <laughs> you know. I take a hundred old lady, whatever. Man. You know, it's not like uh, we're going to war. I don't want wish to go to war with the government. I mean, this this is your world, not mine, man. You do what you got to do. You know, I don't want to overthrow nothing. And there's there's no even wink wink involved. There's there is no making war against it. I just. You know, I don't want to do what I don't want to do. <laughs> That's all. Uh, and if there's other people who don't want to go that route either, um, I I don't know. Uh, you know, if they give give the option of just the old head shop off, I, I'd be game with that, man. You know, but that it's all up to God. Nothing is gonna happen without His. Without his so okay, right? Nothing. So you know, just learning to how to how to have faith in him and uh and tap into that. I'm I'm just it's such a struggle for me guys. And don't get me wrong, I'm not like complaining or you know, feeling sorry for myself or anything. It's just it's frustrating and, and it's where I'm at, you know. So if anybody can relate if they've been Thinking, you know, there's got to be something more. And then, yeah, I mean, looking at the world the way it is, the Bible really does make sense. Then, uh, you know, but you're not tapping into it as you, because I hear these, these testimonies, and I, I believe them. I do. And I would think it would be the, the you know, the false, because they have a, a Christ, they call him, but it's an avatar. It's not Jesus Christ, right? In fact, Jesus was considered a lower ascended master to them. Um, so, but anyways, I would think it would be that, you know, because they were all into the New Age and stuff. But the thing is, is all these testimonies, man, these people are straight up biblical, man. They're straight up, you know, spitting what, you know, all the... It, it, you can just tell. You can just tell, you know. You can just tell. So, yeah, and, and you know, just like all of us, man, we worry about our families, and you know, I don't know, man, I don't know what to do, guys, I don't know, I, I, but I'm powerless, man, I'm powerless, it's, it, it, boy, this generation, they really got it bad, they really do. <laughs> I guess I just gotta keep praying, keep praying, man, cause that's 
It's the only power in this world I don't have any. I keep putting together little kits and stuff, just I guess just to keep busy. You know? <laughs> Unless he lays it on my heart, then yeah, then it's really time to rock it. He was kind of laying it on my heart to uh, let go of these coin sorting. So I've got, I've got about ten or twenty lots, about a hundred dollars. That should sell quick. I could put that into supplies. Or, you know, maybe donate some to channels I watch at, you know, it's things like that, or help somebody, but, you know, I don't know, but, yeah, because it's consuming a lot, and, uh, yeah, so I kind of, maybe he is speaking to me, and, and, again, he's showing me a lot about myself that isn't good, so, all right, guys, well, I will check back later on this afternoon. Again, I pray all's well. Love you all, and have a great day.